Um, this time I'm gonna leave the bottom, I'm gonna make like a sandy, muddy bottom, and above is gonna be all underwater. So that's kind of neat looking. I'm gonna just let that dry and see what happens. In the meantime, I'll clean off my brush by dipping it, pushing it in the water and then dragging it across the edge. And now I'm gonna use um, a drier technique. Let's see, I'm gonna make, I wanna make like a sandy color. I'm gonna mix my paints here. And I got fresh water because I didn't want to, I decided I didn't want to get blue into my sand. I'm making like a sandy, dirty bottom. So right here I'm gonna put some orange. So that's way too orange. I wanna make that a little bit more brown. So an easy way to make it brown is I would add the opposite of orange. The complementary color is blue. So it's all, I'm gonna, so I'm going to add some blue to this. I'll just use the blue I was just using. You can see that creates brown. That's a very dark brown. Although this will dry lighter than it looks here. So to make this less dark, I'm gonna add water to it. So over here I'll have my really, this is called a wash. I'll have my light colored sand. So add even more water to it. So it looks very dark there, but I think on the paper it will look lighter. Let's see what happens. Yeah. That's kind of a nice sand color. So I mixed blue with orange to make this. That's one way to make a brown. And since I, I mixed on my palette, I knew what I had, if I'd put it on the paper, it would have been risky because it might not have, I might not have liked it. So there I have sandy bottom with the water above. This is coming out nice. I think I could go in now. I was talking about making it more of an aqua color or adding an aqua color. So let's see, I'll use my palette again. I guess I'll use my medium brush again. I'm cleaning it off and I'll get some of this. I happen to have this other blue color and then that's pretty cool, but I'm thinking even more green. So I'm going to add green to this. I've got my green tempera over here. So that's looking like a dark aqua. But like I said, when it goes on the paper, it should be lighter. Let's see what happens when I put it on the paper. That's pretty dark. So what I want to do is I don't particularly like these white areas. I'm going to add this aqua color I just mixed to some of these light areas. that dry and see if I like it. I've made pre-cut shapes of creatures that might live underwater. I have a sea turtle, a fish, a starfish, and I have a whale. So again, if I was worried about making a mistake, I could give it a, I could draw first with pencil. but I don't like pencil for the final product. So then I would add some marker. And now I can color it in. I could, well, I'm thinking like, or 
orange spots maybe. So at this point I could look and see what it's going to look like on my background. You don't have to use my cutouts. You could make your own drawing and I could help you cut them out if you want. So this I think it's still too white. So I think maybe I'll add yellow to it. I want to erase my pencil lines. So I want you to do a good coloring job. <laughs> 